Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a great night tonight. Tonight I want to just take a quick look at some of the new features in Google Slides, especially the new questions and answer that really increases that engagement with the audience. Uh, so very quickly how it works, and all I've done is loaded up a uh, template from my, uh, from my Google account. And the one thing I'd want to mention here is that uh, I'm in my Gmail account and uh, it is available in there, but in my education accounts and in my uh, business accounts, I don't see this feature yet. So like if it's like the voice typing, it might take a little bit of time to roll out for all your accounts. So if you don't see it, uh, that might be what be what what would be happening there. So I've, I'm just going to go right to it right here. So I've opened up my uh, presentation here from the template. Just click on the little down arrow and you can see we have presenter view right here. So when I click on this, it will open up for me a new tab uh, here, which I can start the new uh, question and answer period. So uh, what I'm going to do is just hit the start new down at the bottom here. And then what you can notice here is I'm giving a, a given a URL right here. You can see I can turn it off or on at any time. So if I go back over to my presentation now, you notice across the top they give this URL. So the audience is going to see this right here and they're going to see this URL. So if they're sitting sitting in the audience with their devices, whether it be their, their phones or their tablets or their computers, they can go to this, uh, type in this URL and they're going to be able to uh, get to it to get to the question part, which I'll show you in a second here. So, um, uh, so yeah, very quickly you can turn it uh, on and off so I can go back and you can see it takes it off or if I go on there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to slide over uh, to a new window, open up my phone and type this URL uh, to show you what it looks like on the phone because I'm going to guess this is what most people will be doing in the audience. So I've just got my phone open and I put in that URL so I'm already at the page and I'm just going to quickly type in a question. I'll just be how long will this Okay, just make it simple like that. And then you can see um, ask as anonymously, so which I can uh, click right there, or ask as the person that I'm logged into. So I have a choice of how I want to submit it there. So I'm going to, uh, since I'm logged in, I'm, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to hit submit. And then you can see the question pops up there. So then the audience can actually uh, rate the question too by giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down to see what they're thinking about the question. So if I go back over to uh, uh, over to my presentation tools, you can see that the question uh, is there too. So and what I like now is you can actually bring these questions up to the audience. So if you notice, this is what they're seeing right now. Uh, but if I hit the present tool like this, and then I go back to my slide, uh, the question will be on there. So uh, if you want to bring that question right into the presentation, just click that so you have that power when you're presenting it and you can go back to hide and it's there. So very simple to use. I think it's going to increase um, your engagement, as I said before, with your students or business partners or uh, it just gets that audience uh, interacting in the presentation, keeping them a little bit more alert in it, I think, too. Uh, so the last tool I just want to show that a little bit that they just added on to that I was just playing on a little earlier. They have kind of a cool little laser pointer here so you can see if you select that, um, move it around, you can kind of bring the attention using the laser pr uh, laser pointer there that I thought was kind of cool there. So I hope you like this little presentation today on some of the new features of Google Slides. Uh, if you have, please share it with some friends. Give it a thumbs up. And remember, I do these we weekly tech tips every week. So if you like it, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.